Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to consider the function f of x is equal to tangent of 1 over x. We're asked to show that f of x is equal to 0 for x is equal to 1 over pi, 1 over 2 pi, 1 over 3 pi, and so on. And f of x is equal to 1 for x is equal to 4 over pi, 4 over 5 pi, 4 over 9 pi, and so on. And so if we look at this, right, f of 1 over, and then we say n pi, right, where n is just some number attached to the pi, this is equal to tangent of 1 over 1 over n pi, which is itself n pi, right? 1 over a fraction is equal to the fraction flipped. So this is just tangent of n pi, which we know is equal to 0 for all values of pi. Meanwhile, f of how will we represent this? 4 over pi times 4n plus 1. Now, we can um, solve this, and should, sorry, it should be 1 over this. We can solve for this, but I think it's easier to just plug this into a calculator, and you'll get your values um, by plugging in 4 over pi, 4 over 5 pi, 4 over 9 pi. Um, there's not a super easy way to um, think about this. Um, at least um, outside of the level of calculating this uh, one at a time. So it's, for example, tangent of one over four over pi, right? This is tangent of pi over four, which we know is one. And if you know about the oscillations, the repetition of the tangent function, that you can say that every time we add pi, we'll get another one, because then it's tangent of 5 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4, and so on. So therefore, f of x is equal to 1 for all these values. So therefore, what can you conclude about this limit? As x approaches 1, or sorry, 0 from the right, right? It's constantly bouncing back and forth between these two values. Therefore, we can say that the function or the limit of the function does not exist, dne.